Hey guys, it's Jeremy Muro, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Mesh tool in Illustrator CC. So you can see here, I've just gotten a pair that I traced off Google. You can see it's just a flat silhouette here. And this is what you can create with the Mesh tool. So you can see if I just select it, you can see all the meshes here in the anchor points. It allows you to create, you know, cool colors and add a nice dimension to your work. Um, and it gives some flexibility as well. So you can just create, you know, a cool 3D object or something like that with a lot of detail in it, just by using simple colors and using the mesh tool. So we're going to recreate this pair. I'll just move this out of the way and we'll just go look at this. So you can see I've got just some shapes here. This is separate and these are all separate pieces. So what we're going to do to use the mesh tool, what you do is you, you select the shape you want and then you, you can press U for the shortcut and you can see the mouse changes and you can start clicking on your shape or it's on the left hand side on your toolbar you can see that it's like got like a glass window thingy with lines that's the mesh tool so what it allows you to do is create anchor points on your object so i can go on the edges of my object and left click and it's going to create a line you can also do it at the top and it's going to create a horizontal line so wherever you click it's going to determine where it's going to be a vertical line or a horizontal line you can also click on the center there as well just want to make sure I have that color on. Just like that. You can also go in and move the anchor points by pressing the direct selection tool. So if I press A for the direct selection tool, I can actually move these around like this. I can also use it to edit the anchor point, uh, the handles as well. So you can make it more curvy like that. So it's really flexible and it's editable. And you can hold shift as well to edit multiple lines as well. So you can edit that mesh like that. But you can see if you do it too far, it might look a bit weird. So we've just created a mesh for the object. You can be on any object really. And the more lines, obviously, um, the more detail it's going to have and it's going to take longer, but you can do as less or min as many as you want. So what I'm going to do now is start creating um, colors. So it's good to have a range um, of colors. You can see in my swatches panel here, I've got some greens, some browns, and I can start playing with it. So what you can do is I like to usually select the part where the shading is going to be. And then I'll select the darker color. And then the light is going to be coming from this direction. So I want this side to be more shaded. So you can use your direct selection tool and just click and drag to select a whole bunch of the anchor points instead of doing it all one by one. And then you can go in here and start just holding shift and just selecting some of this midsection to get a nice midtone. Then as I was working my way up, I'll start adding some lighter colors there. And so it's all about where your lighting is and where your shading is. It will determine where you put the lighter colors. So you can see as I go up, I'm adding lighter tones of the, of the green there, the light green. And you can see the main highlight is there. Which is pretty handy. Cool. So we're already starting to get a nice shape, a nice tonal range um, from that pair. Another cool thing is that if you press U and you hold Option or um, Alt on a PC, you can actually minus points. So if I do that, you can see that I can actually minus some of the point, the anchor points, and it's going to get rid of it, just like that. So I can just Control Z that to get rid of those. So that's pretty handy as well. It's really fast, really quick. So I'm just holding shift here and going through that. I'm usually trying to make the edges lighter there. Because that's where the light is hitting. And you can always go ahead and select these tones here. Go to your color section or your color panel. You can go to window and color. And you can actually, I'm just going to make it a bit more darker there. Just like that. So you can see there. Cool. So yeah, we're starting to get some nice light there. And yeah, that's looking pretty, pretty sweet. And you can play around with it for hours and experiment and get some nice looks. So yeah, that's looking good. So we've done that. And now I'm going to go through and do this branch. Or the twig. Same sort of principle. You know, wherever the light's hitting, you want to make it the lighter points. Go through the mesh. So it's super flexible and you can just move it down, move the handles there, 
So it allows you to create some nice dynamics to it. Awesome. So we've got that. Bring it to the back. And for this one, So this comes in really handy if you're doing like illustrations or simple objects or something that you want to make more realistic. Instead of going to Photoshop, you can actually just go into Illustrator and use this technique and you can actually create similar effects like in Photoshop. So the key is to have some nice colors that you can use. So it's you know, realistic. So there we have it. We've got our pair just by using a simple mesh tool. And if I select it all, you can see all the mesh there. So yeah, thanks for watching the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to click subscribe and leave some comments in the comment section below.